So in the second part of the video, I'm going to show you, similar to when we did lining paper, how to measure vertically. And hopefully, some of you will think, well, that's obvious, because you're just doing it the opposite way. So measuring from the skirting, one metre. And to make it easier, I'm measuring down one metre. And then I'm just measuring what's left. So I've got about 150. So I've got two metres, 150 millimetres. But then I'm adding on 100 millimetres for wastage. That's 50 mil either side, okay? Obviously, or top and bottom, because we're doing better from now, aren't we? So that gives us a measurement of two metres, 250. Now, check your wall, because not all of them are exactly the same. Because it's two metres, 250, and my roll of paper is 10 metres, I know I can get four pieces out of that comfortably. When it comes to pattern papers, you may only get three because of the pattern. But with a plain paper, if your measurement is under 2,500, you should get four pieces to a roll. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to see where each piece takes me. So I know because I've done my plumb line that that one will be there. And again, this is the Gerthin method. The second one will go to there. Okay. So then I've got a little bit there. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to do this. So there's three, and to be centred about there. So I know to do this back wall and half the chimney breast, I'm going to use four pieces. Obviously, if you're working alongside somebody, when we come to do the chimney breast, we won't do, we won't sort of take it around the corner. We'll start centrally, okay? But I'll show you that in a different video. You noticed rats, and we all know why the rats know. The rats to keep them clean in storage. If we have a look at the information label, we can see that it's a free match. It's a paste the paper. It's strippable. And what's that say there, Go. Can you go, if you can scroll in? What's that word say? Hard wearing. Hard wearing, yeah, it's wood chip. Super hard wearing. This is generally used in high traffic areas. Um, you don't see it very often because it's quite old fashioned. But the reason you're hanging it and the reason we usually start on it is A, because City and Girls tell us we've got to tell you to hang it. And B, the reason they ask you to tell you to hang it is because it's one of the most difficult papers to hang. So if you can hang wood chip, you can generally, it gives you a good understanding to be able to hang other papers after that, easier papers if you like. So wood chip, it tends to go a bit pulpy, it's a bit difficult to cut. So they do test you. Now they do come in different grades. Um, it's a super heavy 165, and that basically means the size of the chips. If you get a heavier weight one than this, the wood chips will be heavier. Okay, so this actually is a double roll, just seen there. So, it's actually 20 metres on these rolls. So we'd actually get eight out of this roll. It's a double roll there, didn't realise there was doubles. Again, don't get rid of this. Pop it somewhere, make sure you keep it. Okay, oh, just before I go any further, I'm going to check the soaking time. So, do do the soaking time. Nine or more minutes. There, look. Okay. Once they've been folded, it's nine or more minutes. So, make sure you keep that just to refer back to. It will tell you what type of adhesive, but it is, it is cellulose. Okay. Oh, I don't need them, do I? Right. So, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the lining paper, sorry, the wood chip. Always open your roll so the bend is down. Don't open the roll that way because you'll do that and you'll go. 
and that starts curling. And the further you get, there it goes, the further you get down the roll, the tighter it's wound. So, always open your paper with a face to the top. And if you do that, that's going to help you when you come to finish your papers as well. Start at the top. We can write on this because it's wood chip. We would generally be painting this, but because of town constraints now, with the fact that we've been off the COVID, we're not going to paint it, but we are going to hang it. After that, we're going to what we'll hang. What we're going to do is we're going to hang lining paper. We're going to hang wood chip. When we've finished that, we're going to strip it. We're going to redo our woodwork and um, we're going to hang lining paper and then a finished paper. So that's two metres. Check your measurements. Two metres, 250 to there. So I don't need that anymore because I know that's my length and I don't need to measure it again. So she is open wide. Follow that line. Don't worry if it's not perfect. This because it is wasted. You've got 50 mil. So you don't have to get a perfect line, but try and do it as straight as you can. I will show you a tip I do actually. Now this is going to be exactly the same as this one. So find it exactly the same. Hold it, hand on, and then just with your hand underneath like this. Can you see this Gary? Just with your hand underneath. Just, you're just hooking your hand under the paper and you're just pulling it out like that. Okay, just working your fingers along it, like that. Getting hold of both pieces, not just one, remember they've both got to the same size. Taking them down the table, holding on, taking it on there. Now the other method I said sometimes people use is, it's quite difficult with a double roll because it's quite thick. You just bend it there, and I know I've bent it at the mark now, so what I can do, you just put along that crease. I do this all the oops, I do this all the time when I'm using finished papers. So both pieces again, make sure you're keeping both pieces together. I've noticed a few people in the past maybe only drag one piece, and then they end up with all different sizes. These have to be identical, each one. So again, to the top, hold on to all three pieces now. Oops. Back and roll. Keep your hand, keep putting your hand on it because they do move. Paper off the wall and just slide against itself to there. And again, a crease. That one. So we've got three, all three again. Take them back. all the same size and then go again so this is four pieces and that would generally be a roll but this is a double roll so I can actually have eight out of this so I'm not going to cut eight I'm only going to cut four right so that's four this excess paper don't go on the floor it goes underneath there on your legs all right that's where we keep our paper now if I turn it over now, it's going to all curl up, so we have to do <coughs> the creasing method just to get rid of that bend. Now as I've said in the past, I do it by just getting a corner and I'll roll it up like a cone and I'll just press it like that. Okay, some people prefer to get all of it like that and do that. Whichever way you decide, it doesn't matter. So again, this is just my method. Don't worry about the creases, it will come out once you paste. There's not many papers you can't do that with, um, certainly in level one. Now, when we did lining paper, if you remember, it was the same width as the board, which was 600 millimetres. But this finished paper isn't. 
okay? It's 500, it was 535, something like that, okay? So that doesn't take us right to the edge of our board. So we've got to do something else when we're pasting. We take all our pieces to the top. We get hold of just one piece here and we pull that down so that the board isn't exposed. Up so you can see here, them underneath pieces now, they're protecting the board. Okay. So, it is part of your assessment not to get things messy, okay? You need to have, keep your tools and equipment clean, but obviously from the last learning video, learning paper video, you'll remember that you should keep your area clean as well. Right. So, adhesive, this is just cellulose adhesive. I can go right up to the edges without going on the board because I'm protecting the board all the way. So plenty on, again. Don't spread it. If it moves, put it back on the board. Thing, I'm wondering if that hair's going to come out. I'm going to show you something if you get a hair. If you get hair in it. Because if you get hairs, there we go. If you get these brush hairs behind your paper, what will happen is that you'll see them. Right, the way to get them out, really easy, just pick them up like that with the edge of your brush, then just get rid. It happens, it happens when you're painting as well. It certainly happens with the paste brushes. So I'm pasting everything that's on the board. Once I've pasted everything on the board, I don't want to pull it and have the paste going down there. So going to do a fold and I've checked, just checking the light that you've got no misses. Okay, I've gone right into the edges. Right, this is different to the concertina fold. This is what's called a two-third, <coughs> excuse me, a two-third, one-third fold. You get the two top corners, you walk it, oops, <laughs> try again, you walk it, up to about halfway of the board, you align the edges and drop it down like that. Okay. Then, because I don't want to drag it and get pierced, you take this bit up slightly, you bring this bit down, and then you pull it across. Yeah. That avoided getting any paste on the face of the paper. Now we can finish pasting the part that's left. Right. Check no misses, checking the light. Get the two bottom corners and put them up to the top. Now check, check you all aligned. Yeah. Bring this bit over, this bit over, fold it up, have a look at the time, now I'm at 11.53 and I can't hang that for nine minutes. So I'm going to pop it on there. If I had plenty of time, which make sure you know what time it is before you start pasting, because if you've got nine minutes to soak it, it might take you ten minutes to hang it then you're looking at 15 minutes. So you have to make sure you've got 15 minutes before either break time, lunch time, anything like that. So what I would do next, check the time and think, right, okay, well, because it's five to 12 and I'm gonna hang that now, obviously I'm not going by the lunch time. But if it was this, you wouldn't have done that yet. You'd have waited until after lunch. But I'm gonna wait nine minutes for that now. While I'm waiting the nine minutes, I'm just going to paste and fold the rest of them, okay? So we'll leave it there and we'll come back when it's soaked.